we have not had rain in almost three weeks which means we're having to use our house water to water the garden twice a day because we want all our plants to grow nice and healthy now not that long ago i had bought a couple of these barrels with the intent of making a rain barrel catch the water off the shed roof and use that water to water the garden that way we can store 55 gallons of water and use it when we need it as opposed to use the house water today's the day we're going to put this together now the roof on the shed is not done i got it covered in metal and put a new eave trough up with a downspout to go on the top of this barrel in the meantime we're going to fit this barrel with a spout and if we come up top here we've only got two small holes so if it rains you're not going to get a whole lot of water in there what i am going to do is put a plastic tote on the top of this with a hole in it hoping that the tote will catch more water than just this small hole therefore help fill the barrel a little quicker until i get the roof done then i'll put the downspout in i apologize for the wind we are going to be setting this on some cinder blocks so that's going to be eight inches up go up another nine inches we're gonna put the spout right there there not there there all right guys this is what we're using here just a brass water spout it's got an o-ring on this side it goes in and the nut goes on now here's gonna be the trick I'm going to drill a 5 8 hole, but I got these small holes on top. How do I get the nut on the other side? That's going to be the trick. I'm going to drill here. That'll give me a direct line to here. And I'm going to tape the nut to a stick. Try and screw it on, see if that works. Don't drop the nut. It'd be a problem if I do because there's already 10 inches of water in this barrel. Can I help you? Okay, can I help you? Right. Here's the idea. I got duct tape taped to the stick with a nut stuck to the tape. I'm going to slip that down in through that hole to down here. Then I'm going to thread it on. Maybe. If I drop the nut, we're going to have to figure it out from there. Don't drop the nut. All right, we've had to change tactics a little bit. The stick, because it is straight, goes over an angle, it's gonna cross thread the valve. We got a piece of this metal laying around with a piece cut off here, which leaves a tab. So I've got the tape on there. I've got the nut taped to there. I guess uh, take 47. That's clearly not working. Time to bring out, I've had enough. That's proving to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill one hole here. I'm going to take my jigsaw, cut the circle out, and put my hand in there, hold the nut. Take 49. All right, well, that's a little bit bigger. You see the hole down there on the side? Let's see if we can make this work. I don't know if I can get you what. The question will be, are my arms long enough? Yes, they are. We got our spigot on. Our rubber o-ring there wants to jump out maybe too tight 
I have to back that up just a little bit. We'll find out. I got this big hole. How much I can do about it? I had to get my hand in there. Keep in mind, this is all temporary until that roof's done. I'm going to use this container, which I drilled a hole in. It's going to go over top of the hole that I cut. And I again, really sorry about the wind. In order to hold this down tight, well, that's what duct tape's for. We got one here, one here, missed the bird, two. One there. And remember, temporary. We also have to cover the top of this because we don't want the birds dumping in it and everything else. So I'll be right back. This is nothing more than weed mat. I'm gonna put this over top. And uh, hopefully, it will keep the bird garbage out. Again, duct tape is the answer. You guys ever see such a redneck setup? All right, here we go. If you all haven't figured out that this is not a professional DIY channel by now, you're slower than I thought. But hear me up. They say temporary yet. So here's what we got. Okay. This is suit on down on here. It's all taped all nice all the way around. When the roof is on, the eave trough is on, the downspout's on. The downspout will then go in this hole here that I cut. And we'll get rid of this uh, this redneck contraption. I thought it was pretty genius myself. We have, I think we have market this and sell it. Or not. So the reason I'm doing this now is because, like I said, it hadn't rained in about three weeks. If it does decide it wants to rain this year, I want to be ready for it. All right, this is going to be the final resting place for the barrel. As soon as I get the roof done, then we're going to have the eave trough go down into, run down into here, and our spigot on the bottom. This, uh, I know, that looks a little redneckish, but that is bigger than the hole that's in the bottom, which means it'll catch more water. Anyway, it is about to rain. It's been three and a half weeks, no rain here. As you hear the wind blowing by, see the clouds up there. It is starting to rain. We have that much water in the barrel right now we'll see how much we got when it's done raining <laughs> 